Building a multi-billion dollar bridge to replace the interstate bridge is an enormous project that starts with a lot of planning and getting people on board. We've already seen some 3D design drawings that show a few possibilities of what may be to come. The team has been working fiercely on uh, bridge configurations. But at a Thursday meeting of top players from both sides of the river, we got the most realistic look yet at bridge designs from several angles. In all, there are six designs for single level, double decker or stacked, and yes, a lift span version too. The old saying, you know, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. Program administrator Greg Johnson says they are well past the first step, but these designs are not set in stone. This is not final design. This is just showing the bridge config, the possible bridge configurations and potential bridge types. So what types of bridges are these? The single deck bridges vary from one that will remind you of the Glen Jackson Bridge on I-205 to two others held up by cables, one where the cables are exposed and another finback version where the cables are encased in concrete housings, both low profile to accommodate air traffic. And then there is the version most partners want to avoid, a lift span version to accommodate a U.S. Coast Guard request designed just in case ship clearance requirements can't be worked out. And finally, the, the, um, the two-level configuration, is it saves on, um, on width and overall impact, but it also has trade-offs on how people um, experience as they're walking biking or on um, light rail. That's because those users would be on the same somewhat enclosed lower deck of that bridge design. Choosing a bridge type is not likely until February of next year. For now, these models and more to come are out for your viewing and opinions. As for Johnson, he's not about to tip the scale. I like them all. I think all of them have um, a lot of uh, positive attributes. So if any one of those are chosen, I think the area will be um, will be proud of what is built um, over the Columbia River. Tim Gordon, KGW News. And there are a few ways to take a closer look and get involved, including community meetings coming up in both Portland and Vancouver. We've got information and links for you at KGW.com. Well,